Hey everyone, this is Sam with Team 4Flight. This video is the first in a three-part series dealing with 4Flight Manage, which is the best place to view and make changes to various aspects of your 4Flight account. To access 4Flight Manage, just click the Login button on the 4Flight website and enter your username and password. You've got several pages to work with on the left. Account, Subscription, Documents, Devices, Comments, FlightAware, and track log. If you've got a multi-pilot or military account, you might see some extra pages as well, and we'll be going over those in a later video. Today though, we'll just be going over the first two pages, which are really the most important for the average 4Flight user. The account page allows you to make changes to basic account information. You can add your name to the account. You can change the email associated with your account by entering it in the email field and entering your password. You can add a home airport for iCal flight planning, and you can change your password by entering your current one and confirming the new password. Any changes you make will only be applied by clicking the update button. On the subscription page, you can view information about your subscription and transaction history. It's also the best place to go if you want to renew or upgrade your subscription or make changes to your payment information. Clicking on upgrade my plan will open a window with a list of selectable subscription types. US Basic, Pro US, Pro Canada, and Synthetic Vision. You can select whatever combination you want and see the total price on the right. If you have a Pro subscription, you can change the number of pilots on the account by clicking the button above the subscription list and entering the number of pilots. Keep in mind that if you're trying to upgrade your subscription, for example, if you have Pro US and want to add Pro Canada, you need to select both options. Selecting and purchasing only Pro Canada will remove Pro US from your subscription. When you've selected all the subscription options you want, click Next to view your total payment amount and payment information. If you're renewing or upgrading a subscription that hasn't yet expired, the time remaining on it is converted into a prorated credit and applied to the purchase. So you're never wasting what's left of your current subscription by renewing or upgrading before it expires. Back on the subscription page, you can change your payment information by clicking Update Payment Method or Disable Auto Renew for your subscription. You can enable Auto Renew by manually renewing your subscription. You can also view your account's entire transaction history on the subscription page. Each item contains the date of the purchase, the plan that was purchased, its price, and a link to a receipt for the purchase. If the purchase was made through Apple, which is what happens when you purchase in the ForeFlight mobile app, the link will take you to an iTunes receipt. Clicking any of the non-iTunes receipts will take you to a page hosted by our payment system, from which you can view invoices for all the purchases made through ForeFlight Manage. That's it for this video. We'll be back next week with part two in our series, and if you have any questions, as always, feel free to email team at forflight.com.